Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for this new moon energy. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? Now, Virgos, I believe it is a new moon in Scorpio. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Okay, so the card for it is work through your fears. So again, you know, a, a good time to, you know, have some sort of rebirth, let go of things that you, no longer serve you, and very much setting your intentions here going forward, okay? So just going to read a little bit from the book. Now, it does say this card suggests a rebirth. It says, think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, rebirth. It says that's what Scorpio energy is all about. It says whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It says it almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns. It says, but it will be deep and transforming. It says this card also suggests that you know you are magical. It says then this is the time to work your magic. It says it can also hurdle the start of a sexier time. Okay. It says if you've been experiencing something of of a drought and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. It says Scorpio is the sun sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Now it does have additional meanings for this card. It says time to let go of a grudge you're holding. It says move on from jealousy. It says, stop being obsessive. Um, you have, could it be you're being paranoid? And then you have make an investment. So, we're going to put that back in the deck. What do we have for my Virgos around this full moon energy? I said full moon, new moon energy. I always get them mixed up. I don't know why. What is it? What is the energy for this new moon? Thank you, spirit. The sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. So this new moon. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. Virgo. And going forward. So the first card that is coming out here, which it says Gibbous Moon, it says you're very close to achieving your goal. And then going forward, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Do I want to keep a card for this? Yeah. All right, give me a keeper card for now and for going forward. You're very close to achieving your goal. And a personal issue reaches resolution. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Show me. Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, or Venus. Thank you. So the first card coming out here is Great Fortune. So you're very close to achieving some sort of wealth here, Virgos, okay? Now, I always see that the Great Fortune doesn't necessarily have to be something um, 
financially, material-wise, right? This could be spiritual as well for some of you, okay? So almost that energy for some of you of a upgrade or, um, I don't know, I'm hearing something about an initiation. But for others of you, if you've been manifesting in money, finances, a business, a project, it feels like Spirit is saying, hey, you're real close here. It's almost like that energy of you, you're right at the finish line. Now, a personal issue reaches resolution. We have a false person coming out here. So for some of my Virgos, you know, cross watcher, if you're in here, flip the roles if you feel that you need to, okay? But Virgos, there could be someone here that maybe wants to come towards you and give you some sort of an apology is what I'm feeling from this card. Because I'm kind of seeing like the page of cups. The number eight could be significant. Yeah, definitely could be because we have a 26 over here, which boils down to an 8 as well. So the number 88, um, for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know that the number 88 to me is an energy of it's all over when the fat lady sings. So again, this energy of being very close to something, okay? Um, number 16 could be significant, 8 and 8. The month of August, maybe. But what is this for my Virgos? Great fortune. Why is it here? Yeah, I'm seeing the Nine of Cups already. What is this for my Virgos? And your energy there, Virgos, with the Hermit. I'm also hearing for someone here that you're very close to healing from something. Now, it could be something physical. It could be, you know, something to do with the mental space. It could have something to do with the heart chakra space here. But I'm hearing you're, you're almost there when it comes to healing. What is your very close to achieving your goal and the great fortune for my Virgos? For this new moon energy, thank you, Spirit. So we have the Seven of Swords coming out. Okay. We have the Six of Swords. We have a King of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> now this is giving me the energy of for some of you you may have a fire sign around you Aries Leo Sagittarius energy maybe they were very deceptful here with the Seven of Swords right it's that liar cheater kind of energy it's that energy of someone here who maybe had some sort of you know scheme or plan here you know, the Seven of Swords is an energy of someone who does things underhanded, right? For some of you, you may be seeing straight through this person. This could have been a friend. This could have been a family member. Take it how it resonates here. But it feels like with the Six of Swords here, someone here is choosing to move to calmer waters. Now, it could also be this fire sign. I'm going to clarify the cards. The Eight of Cups, it talks about someone abandoning, it could be, maybe someone here is abandoning some sort of plan. What is the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands? What is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? The Star card. And why is this King of Wands energy here? Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands. Show me more. Hmm. And the Three of Wands. The Moon card, yeah. You see, for some of you, I feel like you, you may have had this energy around you here, this whoever this King of Wands is. I, I don't know what it is that they did, but it feels like they're very much in the background for some of you this person could very well be angry that you are moving forward and things are still happening for you okay because like i said i feel like whatever it is that they tried to do in the dark in secret here with this moon card um it feels like number one it didn't work because you have the star card out here this is an energy of someone who couldn't stop you 
this is someone who couldn't um they couldn't make you lose faith they couldn't make you lose hope here with the star card this is someone who is very much seen that either you have healed, like I said, from something they did, said, a way they behaved, right? Whether it was in front of you or whether it was kind of behind your back. Um, Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. I don't know if this person spent a lot of money to do something here, but this is someone who is seeing that you are still focused, you're still grounded. Um, like I said, you're still going forward here, Virgos. What is a star card? Now, for some of you, it could be someone who wants to heal a situation with you because they see that you're still in positive energy. They see that things are still happening for you. For some of you, like I said, you're achieving something here. Or you're very close to something. Yeah, page of wands at the bottom of the deck with the ten of cups. And then we have that emperor energy. With the queen of wands and the three of swords and the death card. I'm hearing... <laughs> Um, I'm hearing you can't break my vibes. Yeah, this person could have break you here. What is a star card? Yeah, it feels like for some of my Virgos, you're still creating here. Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords came back out again. So this could be someone who may be upset angry here right i don't know if it's because they're feeling left behind with the nine of wands i don't know if they feel are uh, looking at you and they feel like hey you have your life easy and they're going for a lot even if that is the case you know this person need to kind of question themselves and ask themselves why are they going through a lot why is their life so difficult it's not just about looking on the outside and saying oh look at virgo they're just kind of living life and they're happy they don't care about me they've moved on why this feels like someone who doesn't know or doesn't want to kind of dig a little bit you know beneath the surface here and maybe find out what the actual root of the problem is when it comes to their life when it comes to you and them when it comes to you walking away or whatever just one card for the star justice thank you spirit you see it, 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 this is, has a lot to do with i want to say a uh, spiritual law that energy of as above so below you know the justice card talks about what is fair the justice card also talks about like i said you know cause and effect every action causes a reaction So maybe you are getting what you want here, Virgos, because not only have you been fair and just, but it looks like you are, for some of you, you know, are very truthful, honest people here. What is the... Some of you could be getting some sort of positive news or outcome when it comes to a legal situation i just saw 1333 on the clock so 333 let me just see what that angel number is yeah so 333 angel number it says it is a sign of Divine guidance, support, and encouragement. So this is that energy of my Virgos. You've been following the signs and the synchronicities here. You know, for some of you, you may very well be um, people that inspire other people, lift their vibrations. It also says that it's a number that the angels are always very nearby so there's a heavy energy of protection around my virgos okay for some of you what is this six of swords and the eight of cups so we have coming out almost sideways 
is the three of pentacles and it landed on that seven of swords here so for some of you it's either this person worked against you maybe with a group of people but it's paired with the three of swords so like i said there's some sort of heartbreak here or some sort of pain or some sort of um disappointment or depression or sadness here right either because something here didn't work and for others of you it feels like this may have been someone who put you in a third party situation somehow but either way, this is someone who is sitting in some sort of energy of unhappiness. Because for some of you, you chose to go in a new direction. You chose the calmer waters here. You chose to turn your back on this situation because it wasn't serving you. So it's almost like you reaching the limit in a situation or with a person and saying, hey, listen, I throw my hands up. I'm done. I choose happiness. I choose peace of mind, right? So again, coming back to that question, this person needs to ask themselves, why? Because I personally don't see a Virgo. Now, you know, that doesn't mean that it isn't out there, but I don't see what I'm seeing here is a Virgo that just kind of got up and just walked away for no reason. I'm seeing the King and the Queen of Wands here. What's behind this Queen of Wands? The Emperor, the Ten of Cups. I don't know if they allowed family to get in the situation here with this Queen of Wands energy, right? This could be the person that they chose over you. For some of you, this is a pair, okay? So this could be someone who is married to another person. And for others of you, this is someone who is looking at you as their match. So this could definitely be like a soulmate or twin flame connection. It's definitely not for everyone. It could just be that this person very much, especially if you're having some sort of upgrade here, okay, they see you as good news. This may even be a family member to you. But this is someone who feels like they want to sit beside you as the emperor. Again, heavy Aries or Taurus energy out here. Ten of Pentacles, look at this. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Sun card and the High Priestess with the Five of Cups. It was an unwise choice to go against you here, Virgos. And what did I say about the sun card and the high priest? It's about you following your intuition. And this is exactly where it's going to take you to that ten of pentacles. Or there is some sort of deception here around finances. What is the energy here for this new moon? Thank you, Spirit. What is the personal issue reaches resolution and the false person? Yeah, I knew he was going to come out. I heard it before the card flipped over. I knew the King of Pentacles was going to come out here. So uh, for some of you, you could be dealing with another air. Um, I was going to say air sign. Maybe some of you are vibrating from an air energy. So maybe some of my Virgos, you're not even vibrating from your sun sign. You may be vibrating from your moon or your rising, right? Um, but I feel like some of you may be dealing with another earth sign here. The lovers. Gemini energy. Maybe that's why I said air. Who is this King of Pentacles with the Lovers card? Some of you, this could be a soulmate. The Knight of Wands, someone who wants to come in or rush in here. It looks like someone that may have some sort of passion for you with the Knight of Wands here. But usually to me, the Knight of Wands is an energy of someone who is non-committal. Huh. Yeah, usually the night ones is someone who is non-committal. Sometimes they can be someone who likes to explore their options. It could just be someone who is um single here, right? Maybe they have no attachments to another person. But I was hearing young at heart. <laughs> what is this lovers? This could definitely be someone who is spying on you, watching you somehow. Seven of Wands, but they see that you're very defensive here. Look at that, the energy of forgiveness. With the ace of pentacles what is the lover's energy what is the message here thank you spirit we have the seven of cups yeah i don't know like i said it could be someone who likes to explore their options here it could just be also an energy um, for some of you here where this person is a little bit confused about how to approach you, how to come in, what to say. This could also be someone who may feel like you have a lot of options here, Virgos, and it definitely could be you, this King of Pentacles, so male or female, okay? 
I read energy. What is the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. This is someone who's stuck about, you know, how to come in and offer you something or how to get something moving to the next level here. It could just be that they want to come in with some sort of gesture, right? Knight of Cups talks about romantic proposals, offers, invitations. It talks about somebody taking action. I feel like the most important, it talks about somebody following their heart. Yeah, someone here may want to date you, but here we go with that hanged man energy. Someone who feels trapped. Now, again, you know, the hanged man is about someone who takes some sort of temporary pause so that they can see something from a different perspective. Nine of swords with a six of coins, the world card and temperance. Hmm. What is the hangman about? What is this? uncertainty about what is this lack of direction spirit the ten of coins what about the ten of coins seven of wands ten of cups show me more about this ten of coins with the seven of wands why is this energy in hangman the tower I don't know, maybe they're experiencing something to do with their finances here. It landed on great fortune. The tower is also an energy of some sort of um, epiphany. Show me more. What is the hangman about? The two of cups. So what is the ten of pentacles with the tower? <laughs> the high priestess show me more the ace of wands now you see the ten of pentacles can talk to me about somebody building some sort of generational wealth with someone it can talk about someone who's maybe wants to invest in you for the long haul here but see with this great fortune and this high priestess and the ace of wands again. I don't know. I don't know how to take this. I don't know if someone's intuition told them something. I don't know if you did or said something here or someone is seeing something clearly about you. Right. Maybe for some of you, someone can even see where it is that you are going with this ace of wands, with this. Show me more. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Six of Wands. Because this, whoever this is over here, they feel like, <laughs> they feel like some of this is too difficult. What is, uh, show me more about the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Show me more. With the King of Cups. It makes me feel like someone admires you. Oh, for some of you, show me more. Oh, <laughs> that's three aces. Hmm. Some of you, you may meet a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I don't know if someone's intuition told them that. But three aces... Damn, Virgos, you are almost there. <laughs> maybe this, I don't know who this is. Uh, maybe this is someone who maybe wants to be with you. But like I said, I don't know if they feel like you're very defensive here. Um, Tower with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here could have had some sort of financial loss as well. Or maybe something is happening with someone's money. Clarify these two cards for me again. Thank you, Spirit. Let me use another deck. Ten of Pentacles with a tower. Show me more. For this King of Pentacles in a hangman position. <laughs> Give me 
one more. You got the magician coming out with the emperor. Okay, show me more. The hierophant and the two of wands. Spirit, is this something that Virgos can trust? Because any time I get things like this, it, it feels like my mind is going in different directions. Now, it could be this person's energy, right? Because I could take this, the magician, the emperor, the hierophant, and the two of wands. Someone here may be questioning some sort of energy that they put out there. Um, someone here could be maybe wishing that they made another choice, um, especially if this magician is a negative energy. Um, for others of you, I don't know if, if this isn't someone has been trying to manifest you in uh, and they want to take charge with the emperor energy and come towards you. Like I said, I don't know if this person wants to offer you commitment with the hierophant. For others of you, I, I don't know if this person was working with this emperor energy. The full yet yeah, heavy Aries. What is the full card? What is the full card? Thank you, Spirit. The Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. I feel like, see, this is a Ten of Wands energy again. I feel like for some of you, this is maybe someone who wants to take some sort of leap of faith towards you here. Um, they may watch you from a distance, okay? Um, but like I said, you may be defensive. Now, for others of you, if this is someone who tried to or was working with someone here to throw some sort of black magic your way here, you see, not only are they kind of in the background, maybe watching and waiting to see if something happens, but with that seven of wands, it tells me that you're very much protected here, right? So, yeah. What is this lovers and the seven of cups? Thank you, spirit. Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, someone wants stability here with you. But what, give me some cards on that Seven of um, Cups. What is that Seven of Cups about? Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, there's something here from the past that is holding this person back here. Um, like it says, you know, a personal issue reaches resolution, but we do have false person. So there's something that they either did. Something that maybe they invested in that has them in their head here, Eight of Swords. Or it's because they want to invest in you, right? Why they're in their head. So that's why the confusion is there. But for some of you, someone here sees, I don't know, maybe marriage here with you with the four of wands. You know, the four of wands can just talk about also for me, like a union energy coming together here. Makes me feel like a power couple. Or that's how someone sees themselves with you. Like you guys would be a power couple. So for this new moon, is there anything that my Virgos need to be aware of? Anything they need to be aware of. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I just saw clean up time. It's a good time to clean your homes, right? Throw certain things away here. It's just that energy of a fresh start. So, you know, that's kind of maybe... The energy that spirit wants you to be in around the, around this new moon. But show me for my Virgos, is there anything they need to be aware of? Yeah, see, I'm seeing Aloha healing. You have transitioned to the spirit realm. That makes me think of the death card here, okay? But because we have holding on way too tight. So again, there may be something here that someone is holding on to that they need to let go of here, okay? time for growth one more thank you yeah you got calm the chaos here so this also makes me feel like you know after some sort of tower moment you know it's that energy of learn the lessons and heal now 
could have something to do with some black magic here. Or just somebody being around low vibrational people. Yeah, look at that. You have powerful personal growth. Um, do I want to see what comes out of here? Yeah, you've got cleansing and passion. It's time to, for someone here to start vibrating very high, right? It's almost like learning the lesson that malice, um, low vibrational energies, that energy of tick for tack, lies, thieving. It's time for someone here to let that go. And I'm here and experience the other side of life. Anything from this deck for Virgos? For this new moon energy? Thank you, Spirit. Damn, okay. <laughs> so you got Lady Goddess coming out here, the feminine energy. I am seeing fertility. So maybe someone's very fertile at this time. You have the alchemist. It's time for like, <laughs> it's almost like I want to say it's time for magic. One more. Divine Feminine. Somebody's seen that someone's had some sort of upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, you've got boundaries and secrets coming out. It came out sideways. Now, this reminds me of the Ace of Swords. There may be some sort of delays in something coming to light here. Or somebody's trying to stop something coming out. Book of Shadows. Oh, it's saying to me that, you know, something here was blocked. Yeah, I'm hearing return to sender. And then I'm hearing express delivery. <laughs> so this is this is going to be a quick return for someone if they were um, trying to do something very negative. Damn, we have balance. We have the death card. Just one more card. For my Virgos. Yeah. So yeah, I'm seeing ritual and I'm seeing a healer. It's almost like somebody here tried to cast some sort of darkness on a healer, the star card. Could be this king of wands. He's the only one that's sitting on that seven of swords. But I'm telling you, this person may have been working with someone. But they're heartbroken with that three of swords. It's almost like I'm hearing spirits saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Virgos. It makes me laugh when I see stuff like this. Okay. I don't even want to dig any deeper into that. <laughs> Give me some cards for my Virgos going forward. What is your advice here, Spirit, for this new moon energy? For my Virgos. Are they in the upright or are they... Did that turn around by itself? I'm confused. <laughs> Look at this justice coming in the reverse. Something here was unjust. What is this? Friendship. Yeah, look at this. Someone here has some sort of friend or friend group or whatever here around them that they cannot trust here. All right, give me three cards. Virgos going forward. What is the energy? So we have coming out sideways, we have purification. Purification makes me feel like innocence. Makes me feel like cleansiness, right? You have appreciate. We 
We have self-reward with guidance. Look at that, Virgos. The guidance is going to lead you to success, to abundance here. It's that energy when I look at this card of you can celebrate here. What else did you have come out? Oh, prosperity. Now, again, this makes me still feel like um, with that fertility card, some of you are going to go forward and have some sort of child that is destined to be born here. But this is also that energy of the Empress, of you giving birth to your dreams, ideas, manifesting what it is that you want. For some of you, you are sitting in very strong energy, or you are going to be. Yeah, look at that. Look at the strong energy at the back. Vitality. You see, Virgos, I don't know who this is for, but it feels like for some of you, you reached out to an ancestor or an angel, commune with the dead and reach out. And it feels like they heard you. It's almost like they're saying, hey, listen, prepare now for this transformation. Yes, align and take root. Okay. Two cards from my Virgo so I can end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have here for Virgo? Going forward, show me. Damn, look what fell in my lap, the phoenix. <laughs> and unity. Okay, Virgo. And I'm seeing judgment as well. Yes. Mm, okay, for some of you, I just heard um, with that judgment and unity, I feel like it's relating to this over here, right? Maybe like maybe like I said, some of Virgos, you may have something or someone to forgive here um, for whatever reason. So give me two cards for my Virgos going forward. Thank you, Spirit. For this new moon. Can I get one more? Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, a proposal at the bottom of the deck. It says a romantic business, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Oh, love. It boils down to an A. It's coming. It says love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. And there, I'm telling you, there's a baby due to be born. It says birth. Or, like I said, you're going to give birth to some sort of project, idea that is going to be very abundant. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says cracker. And it's a number seven, which could be significant here. It says positive energy surrounds you. It says love, joy and good fortune await. This makes me think of Christmas. And then we have the key, which is a number 15, which could be significant, or the number 51. But it also boils down to a six, which talks about victory and success. It says new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those, oh, ready to let go of the past. So for those of you ready to let go of the past and move forward. And then we have the dragonfly. So we have that number eight out here again. So again, the number eight could be significant here for someone. Um... Hmm. So, okay, so I'm hearing read both sides, but I feel like they, they're saying to me, read both sides of the number eight. So for some of you, like it says, I feel like there's maybe someone here or some of you need to break away from some sort of karmic situation or some sort of cycle that you keep repeating, whether it's something you're doing or whether it's with a certain person. And for others of you, there's, like I said, they said, read both sides. So the other side to me for the number eight, someone here is definitely going into abundance. It says, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. So Virgos, that is what I have picked up here today for you. OK, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light, guys.